This is the default user registration form in WordPress. And as you can see, it's a little lacking. It shows the WordPress logo instead of yours. It also shows the default WordPress theme and style. So let's fix that. The easiest way to create a custom user registration form is by using WP forms. It's a quick and easy drag and drop form builder. So you can do a contact us and you can also like pretty much automate your whole backend business. To get started, you want to head over to WP forms and you can sign up for at least their pro because that's the registration. The user registration add on is in their pro account. Once you do that, you can log in and download the pro plugin. And while we're here, let's go ahead and also copy our license key. Now that we've got everything. We can head back over to our WordPress dashboard and we'll need to upload the plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new, we'll upload this plugin. You can either choose file and search for it on your desktop, or if you have it down here, like I do, you can left click and drag it and click install. Now we'll also stick around to activate the plugin as well. We need to come over to WP forms and go to settings. So we can add our license key here, verify key. Great. Once you get a congratulations, everything is verified. We can move forward. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the add ons so we can install the user registration add on. This makes it really easy for users to register on your website. So we'll scroll all the way down looking for user registration add on. We can click install add on. And then it should also activate it as well. So now from here, we can go to add new so we can create a new form. They have several templates to choose from. You can search for it. I also know that it's under add on templates and it is the user registration form that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and use this template. And you see that there are, it's a nice reminder. Don't forget there are other registration options available in the settings panel. And we will actually go to that shortly. So let's close this out. So now these are all of the fields that will come over. You've got your name, username, email, password, and a short bio. And you see right next to this, we have all of these asterisks and these are the items that are required. You can move these around and change them up however you want. Now, these are the only fields that WP forms is pulling in because these are the only fields that you'll see in your user area or your user profile. And I want to show you something. So if we go into user profile and say, go to my profile, scrolling down, these are, are the fields that are basically coming over. You've got the username, first name, last name, nickname, which is required. And then we have email, website, and bio. If you wanted to add other fields like their birth date or maybe their TikTok or Facebook links, if you want to add those here, we'll need to do one other thing. If you don't, then you can move on to the next part whenever I add this to the page. Let's go ahead and save this. And we need to exit out of WP Forms because we're going to add another plugin that allows us to collect other fields in WordPress and show them. And we'll show that field down here on our user profile page. So go back to our dashboard and let's go to plugins, add new. And this time we're going to search for the plugin. We're looking for advanced custom fields. And this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it and activate it. Great. Now you'll see over on the left, we now have custom fields. So we want to go to field groups so we can create a new field group. So we'll add new and let's go ahead and give it a name. Say we're wanting to collect those social media details if they're wanting to share those. So we'll do social media. And then for this, we want to add field and we want to give it a field label. And then as you see under field name, it automatically brought my label over. Just know that if you need to change this or what have you, it needs to be a single word. No spaces can be allowed, but you can do underlines or underscores as the technical term or dashes are allowed if you want to. Then you want to choose what type of field this is. Since that is what we're collecting, let's go ahead and use that. And then if you wanted to give them instructions, decide if you want to make this required. Scrolling down, the location is the important part. We want to show this field group and we want to say user role is equal to all because we want this to show on all profile pages. Under here, we want to make sure that it's active so that it actually shows. We're okay with all of this. So I want to scroll up and click publish. And now I'll go back to my profile and I'm going to refresh. And now when I scroll down, you see there's now social media details. So now that information is available. If I have something here, I could add that here. 
The cool thing is now that's available. So now I need to connect my WP forms form field. I need to add the field for it and then I need to connect it to this so that they can talk. So let's head back over to our form that we were working on. We'll go to all forms and it was the user, user registration. And now we want to add that field. So let's go ahead and say a website URL, wherever you want to put it. You can choose that here. We're going to also click on this and change the label to Facebook. And again, you can choose whether or, want, whether or not you want it required. So now we can click save. And now we need to connect it. So we need to go under settings and user registration. And then this is where the fields mapping comes in. Now under the field mapping, it actually goes through and does a really good job of mapping everything. You see that website, we actually didn't have that field on the form. If you wanted to, you could add that and then map that here. What we did add though was the Facebook mapping. And so we'll want to scroll all the way down to the custom user meta. And we need to enter what we used for the advanced custom fields. The meta was the Facebook. And then we need to select Facebook from the fields. So this is connecting WP forms with the advanced custom fields. And so whenever they fill that out and type it in and then get registered, then that information will show up on their profile. Really cool way to connect that data that's missing. Now we need to add it to our site. So we can come up here and save changes. And then we can even come up here and say embed. And you can either choose to select an existing page or create a new page. I'm going to create a registration page. So I'm going to say new and name it here. And let's go. So what it does, it will automatically come through here, title this, register, and it'll bring this data over or bring this form in immediately for me, which is perfect. That's what I want. So now we can publish this and let's just see what it looks like. So when we click view page, that's perfect. It's got my logo up here. It's got register and it looks a little bit better. And people know that it's my website that they're registering on. The other cool thing is you can tell people to go to yourwebsite.com forward slash whatever your user registration page name is rather than the page that I showed you at the beginning of this. And now if you're wanting to customize the login page once they register, have it all customized as well. Watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to customize your login page for WordPress. And I'll see you over there.